Hey, what's up guys? Chris Lee back with another United Destiny Entertainment tutorial video. Hey, check this out. If you're new to this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell to get more videos like this in the future. Now, this is what I'm going to be doing with this video. Basically, I'm going to teach you guys how to utilize your iPhone, iPhone 11, whichever iPhone you may have as a webcam for your videos, tutorials, movie reviews, etc. Now, I just found out about this particular app called IV Cam. And I'm just basically going to walk you guys through the process on how to utilize it. As you can see on the screen right now, I'm actually utilizing my iPhone 11 Pro Max as my webcam right now. My other webcam that I have is a 720. It's a really older Logitech webcam. But for the majority of my other videos you see me use, I utilize that or I just utilize my Canon camera or whatever. Now, in a process, what I'm going to show you guys is first thing that you want to do is go ahead and download this IV cam uh, software for your computer in your iPhone. So I'll put the link in the description box so you'll see exactly how to get it. But just go to your app store and type it in and you'll be able to find it. It should pop right up. Go to Google, type in IV cam and it should pop right up on your computer. If it doesn't, I'll just put the link in the description box. Once you install both of them on your computer and I'll go ahead and show you the process of at least going to Google. <clears throat> okay, so it'll pop up here, IV cam, you click it, mobile, iPhone, you go right here and you download it for Windows. Once you download, you hit the Windows, you install it, everything should work out from there. Then you want to install the app on your iPhone computer. And then once you do that, they'll sync each other up. So once you start the app, either on your phone or the computer, it'll try to sync itself with your app on a computer or the phone. Once it does that in a process, you open it up, start it up. This is what's going to pop up on your computer. So once you click and start it up, it's going to tell you to, after you install to go ahead and restart your computer for the settings to take effect. And once you do that, you just open it up and then it's going to look for the app on your phone. You're going to need to take the USB cable, whichever iPhone cable that you have and plug it into your iPhone and either plug it into your PC computer or your laptop. Either one, but you have to have the phone plugged in. So I have it plugged into my computer right now and I actually have it sitting on one of my studio monitors here in my son's studio room to actually talk to you guys and, you know, this is not the preferred angle that I wanted, but it's going to work perfectly for this video. So that's where the camera is sitting right now. Then in a the process, what you want to go ahead and do is you can click this camera settings button here. And what it's going to do is it since the software has its own app to control. Um, if you heard a little burp in the background, that's my two week old baby back there. My wife's feeding her. Yeah, I can't see her. So, Yeah. Uh, anyways, what it's going to do in a process is the app. You don't have to utilize like the video program or something like that inside of your iPhone. The app is actually going to control your camera settings and stuff for you. So you don't have to do anything but plug it in, start the software up, sync them up together, and it's going to control everything for you. Now, the reason why I like this so far is because it's way better than my other webcam that I have, but also usually when I shoot videos and I want to utilize another camera source instead of my webcam, I usually have my webcam going, my Canon camera going at the same time and my iPhone going at the same time. And I just say audio's rolling, camera's rolling in three, two, one. I clap or I snap to put the videos in sync. So when it's time to put them in my editing software, they'll go ahead and sync up together. I can just line them up based off the audio sync or the clap. And once I do that, the videos can kind of be lined up already with the audio. And then I just kind of do like a multi-cam editing thing to utilize my iPhone as a better camera source over my webcam. But in this particular situation, I don't have to do that. I'm just actually using my iPhone as the main camera source for my video. And I feel more confident utilizing it. And I just feel like this is a much easier setup. Now I can either not utilize my webcam or just utilize my webcam as another camera source. Now in the process, what you want to go ahead and do is go to settings. And then once you go to settings, 
This is going to be based off what you feel is necessary. So in a process, you want to just go ahead and keep it as landscape because that's going to look a lot better for your videos versus portrait mode, having it, you know, with the black strips on each side. You want to make sure that your frame rate is going to be matching. So if you're going to be utilizing this inside of OBS or something like that, you want to make sure that it's matching frame rates. Video size, totally up to you. My camera can shoot 4K, but I'm going to export a 1080p anyway. So I'm just utilizing 1080p for the video. Video frames per second, like I said, you just want to make sure that you match those. I recommend either 60 or 30. Um, it's really a personal preference thing. And then you want to go in this box and make sure that the video quality is set to high. The video format right now, I'm not, I'm not going to mess with anything in here. RGB 24. Um, you can just leave it as what I have it here. Cause this seems to be working just fine for me. I'm not going to have to change it now. As far as like, as far as my recording device, I don't want to use the sound from my iPhone because it doesn't sound that good anyway. So I'm using this through two softwares right now for this video. You may not have to do it like this, but if you do, then I recommend that you do it. I'm using it through uh, voice meter banana and I'm using my UB, uh, USB microphone as my main audio source so I can get clean audio. And then I also have all my sound that's routed from all my programs, tutorials, beat making programs, you name it. YouTube, computer sound, it's all being rooted or routed through my actual voice meter pl uh, plugin or VST. Now in the process, that's just controlling all my computer sound. Now I'm utilizing this right now inside of OBS. OBS is really important to me because I do a lot of video tutorials. I do movie reviews, trailer reviews, you name it, gaming. I do everything through this particular software to record my screen as well as my audio at the same time. So anytime I'm making my tutorials, as you can see, I have my display being recorded at the same time. And then I have my webcam video down here, which is coming from my iPhone right now. So how you would basically do this in this situation is if I was to cut this off, this other video that you can see right here is my other webcam and it's in a corner. It works fine, but it just, it's not ideal. Right now I'm about to be shooting a video with my wife after this, you know, doing some gaming or things like that. And I want to be able to have her inside of the video without having to crop it too much. That's why I went ahead and decided to go ahead and hook up the iPhone one. Now, this is going to find the video source, and you're probably thinking, how do you do that? So I'll go ahead and delete this one. So you just right-click. You can either right-click or hit this plus button. When you hit the plus, plus button, you want to go to video capture device, or you just want to right-click and go to add video capture device. Okay, so either one, I'll just right-click, and then I'll go ahead and go to video capture device. I'm going to type it in as iPhone 11 Pro Max. And I'm going to hit OK. Once I do that, it's going to go ahead and find that particular software. So I'll just go to device. IV cam is going to pick that up. And there's my video. Once it finds your video, you're good to go. You just hit OK. Everything else you don't even need to touch is going to do it for you. So now in the process, I'm back to having my video exactly the way that I want it. Your video is going to pop up. Okay. Now, if you're new to this channel or you're new to this video and you, you're you new to OBS in general and you just don't know how to do the screen capture, then you would do the same thing. You will right click, you will go to add, and then you will go to window uh, display capture. Once you go to display capture, it's going to capture the display that you want to record on your screen or whatever. And you just make that the one that that's on the bottom that's going to be your main source to fill this box in if it's not the size that you want it you can just right click it and do like a um you know fit to screen or whatever the case may be but the one that's going to come from your webcam you want that to be on top which i have here so you just drag these layers if i drag this one to the bottom you're not going to be able to see it you see my other webcam but if i drag this one to the top you're going to be able to see it easy like that now to resize it, you can grab these little circles in a the corner here 
and you just drag it out. Boom. I have a full video on Avi Cam that's recording right now from my iPhone. If you want to make it smaller, you just go ahead and take this down like this. And then if you want to cut it in some or crop it or whatever, you just go ahead and hold down the alt button and click one of the circles, left click one of the circles to it turns green and just cut it in. Same thing, cut it in here, crop it down at the top some and just drag it over. Boom. So now the same thing that I'm seeing here, I'm actually seeing here in a process. Now with the settings, once you go ahead and figure out how you want the settings overall for your phone, then all you do is hit apply and you hit OK, and then it's going to restart it and set it for you. Now, this app tends to have like a little of a delay or latency in it. So be advised with that. But as far as utilizing it in OBS, it has nothing to do with the audio and the video doesn't seem like it's lagging like that neither. So. If you're seeing this video, then you know exactly how I'm utilizing this program with the IV cam. So, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, once you decide that you want to record, you obviously start to hit record and do your thing. But for the most part, this is something that I'm going to be utilizing for the rest of my videos moving forward. I love my webcam because it's quick and easy. But, you know, if I can have a better camera with my iPhone versus because I was just on Amazon right now looking to buy another one and it was going to cost me like a hundred and like 30 or 40 bucks for like a 4k one and then one that's 60 uh 1080p 60 frames per second was going to cost around like uh, I think like 80 or 100 bucks or something like that I, I just didn't feel like that money was necessary so I started doing some research and ju this just happened to be a way that I can utilize this program to use my iPhone as a webcam since it is 4K. So this is something that I'm going to be utilizing in the future. If this video helped you, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me some comments. Let me know what you think. Also hit that subscribe button as, subscribe button as well as the notification bell to get more videos like this in the future. And I hope to help you guys out more. Peace. Thank you for watching.